Today's video is going to be a little different because we are on FL Mobile for this. I went on the App Store and I bought it. Hopefully it doesn't come free if you already own FL on the computer. I mean, I logged into my account. It didn't say anything about that. So I went and bought it on the App Store. But if you can, uh, I just wasted $13, $14, but whatever. We're going to make a beat inside of there today. I've only made one or two beats to kind of like figure my way out around it. Definitely takes a lot more time, but the YouTube research thing that they now have told me that a lot of you guys are searching or at least a lot of people in my audience are searching for FL Studio mobile videos. Then this video will flop. Oh well, let's make a beat. All right, so to start this off, we choose our tempo. We can actually choose a key which locks it in and then we name it. So let's go to tempo. I'm gonna lock in like 160. We could change this later, I'll show you how to do it. We'll keep it 4-4 four, four time and then the key. Let's go over here, change this to minor and let's go select B. So B minor is highlighted. That is going to be good. And then we just hit OK. I've made like two beats so far using this to kind of get a grasp on it. So I'm pretty new to it, honestly. I only have had this for a few days, but I've found my way around it. We're definitely going to be able to make a beat with it. I'll show you guys how to. Um, we can actually make a pretty decent beat too. But anyways, we can hit this little 160 BPM. You probably won't be able to see where I'm tapping, so I'll try to explain it. So right here, we can hit this M, and it'll actually turn the metronome on and off. Then here we can plus one it, or we can drag it, or we could tap it out. So if you want to go like 164 and stuff like that, you can here. And then over here on the bottom left, you have the mixer. You can hit that right here. And then we have the key, and you have a bunch of stuff in here you can mess with. But pretty much just like the MIDI keyboard right there. But on the phone, obviously. Over here, you'll see what happens when we add instruments. If I move this out the way, you can actually hold the top left corner, and we could change the step. So we could do like third step and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let's go right here. Let's go into instrument and go somewhere down here. This should all come with that. I mean, I just bought it on the app store and it came with this stuff. So I didn't have to sign in or anything, which is interesting. I thought it would actually link to like my FL on my computer, but uh, it didn't have me sign in. So let's get this Yamaha right here and you'll see our scale is nice and highlighted. Let's drop a note right there just by clicking. Click it again, and we could drag it out. And let's preview this. Uh, go back in here, turn the metronome on. And let's drag it out one more to here. I'm gonna just create like a simple chord progression. For anyone that's gonna be really making beats in here, shout out to you, because it is a lot more difficult than the computer, but it's not crazy. So we build a seventh chord by skipping every other note. Start it over from the beginning, let's hear it. And then we could build another chord. I think I want to go either here or over to the left a little bit. And then if you hit this little section over here, you can bring up the velocity, which I just messed up. There's an undo button right here. Let's go over here. I'm not going to do them individually because that's probably, I'll do it in like more of an advanced video. For right now, I'm just trying to make a beat and make it sound like somewhat decent. I'm going to get better at this as time goes, but bear with me and drag this out. Let's click this. So see, now we have like kind of like the sampler where we could change the sound right here if we wanted to. We could bring in the attack. We can pitch it and you have all your filters and cool stuff like that. And then if you go up, you can add mixer tracks. So we could add, let's just add a reverb to this. And let's go cut some low end out of it. Make the size bigger. This is going to be a really long tutorial. I can already feel it. And decay. Then it's going to loop itself. Now let's add the root notes lower. So we went, what, B? Let's add it in again right here. I wonder if I could do that. Will it copy the note? Oh, wait. Select. Oh, cool. Give me that one, and that one. Get rid of that here. Ooh, there it is. Little inversion. Then let's move the E. I think that's all we need. 
Yep. Smooth. I'll show you how to load your drums. I had to follow a tutorial on YouTube, but pretty much all you do if you're on Android or on an Apple device is you're going to have to get your drum kits onto like uh, Dropbox or Google Drive somewhere where you can access it on your phone. And I couldn't find a way to add the whole folder on an iPhone, which sucked. But pretty much what you're going to do is download the files and save it to your phone. So for iPhone, you're going to save it to files and there'll actually be a destination uh, which I'll show you, which is for FL, and then it adds it in. But I had to do it one by one. I thought I could download like the whole uh, folder onto my phone, but it didn't work that way. So I only loaded in a few drums. But anyways, once you have them loaded in, you can actually go here, go to a direct wave sampler, then you hit my files, and then my drum set. So that will automatic automatically be set up somewhere on your phone when you download the app. You just got to find that folder. And on iPhones, when you go into the files, you just search for the files app or whatever that's already on there. You'll see FL, and then you'll see the drum set drum set thing and then you could move them into there so i'm gonna load in a clap right now this is how i do it i think you just hit select and then the clap will be right here so if you want these drums it's actually my resupply drum kit so let's go over here let's place a clap right here oh we got a nice little clap let's do that again sampler my files my drum sets let's go into here and let's get the hi-hat right here select let me pause this let me load arcade in here we'll go crazy and get the hi-hat going all right so here's the thing that i don't like so far so watch it we'll get like a two-step going right I think it's dropping it there because yeah i'm gonna put it here oh because we have the key selected so it's not gonna throw it on c Let's try to copy it over. I'm gonna hold this, copy, hold down, paste. All right, that worked. When it comes to doing like triplets and stuff, hold on, I'm trying to zoom in. Let's go over here, watch. Let's move this to like one third step. You see how it doesn't like chop it when you zoom in no matter what, to like one third or any type of third, it's still the same. You're just going to have to count it out, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's take this note, right? Then we move this all the way over. Count one, two, three. And then place it here. And that's how I'm going to get it to work. So kind of like finesse it. Hopefully in like an update, they drop like a part. FL, if you're watching this, you know what you got to do. Like, where am I placing them? Anyways, all right, so next up, I want to get an open hi-hat. I hope I loaded one in in my drum set. I did. Perfect. Let's add that in. The scale highlighting, locking it in is cool, except when you're trying to add drums in. Let's press play. And it's not playing fully, but instead of trying to figure that out right now, I'm going to just place it like that. Cool. We'll leave it like that. That's fine. I'm going to do another one, another open hi-hat. Uh, nope. Not my instruments, my drums. Yep. Open hat 9. Did I already click 9? Or was it 10? 9? We have to go with 8. And I didn't select anything. Okay, I think I saved myself. Yo, what is happening? Where do I want to place it here? Sure, that's fine. <laughs> this piano is getting so repetitive. Let's go hi hat 25. Wow, that is 808.25, not hi hat. See how we're going to arrange this. So much harder on a phone. Oh, we're in third step. Auto. That should be better. And I think I have to drag these out to each other. Again, like I said, I forgot how, I mean, I know how to do it in 
the normal version of FL, but whatever, we'll leave it. Let's place another one here. I'll work a bit. Okay. Man, we're gonna get good at this. Don't worry. That's better. We got a pretty basic beat going, but it's something. Okay, not too crazy. Let's go into the mixer and adjust this a little bit. Piano needs to go down. On the piano, I'm gonna add in an EQ. Right? Uh, they got a graphic EQ, parametric EQ. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I could reduce this. Can I change this? Oh, I can. I could do a shelf. I could do a low shelf and cut out. Look at that. All right, now let's go into here into instrument and find a pad. I'm keeping this basic. I don't care. I don't make beats in here. Uh, I'm doing this to see if I, I can help you guys out. We could actually just drag this out, right? And then it loops it, and then we could drag the one back in that we don't want to play a lot. Copy this, paste it right here. Okay, we're kind of moving. We're getting something going. Yeah. And then we could play it. That pad is so trash. <laughs> but you get the basic idea. Like, you could spend time on here. I would say melodies are probably hard. If you link up, like, a MIDI keyboard, maybe it would be a lot easier. Um, but just off the bat, we created, like, a shell of a beat. I would rate this beat, like, a 4, maybe a 4.5. Obviously, there could be a lot to it, but we got, like, like a shell of a beat going but yeah if you use this man if you use some practice you could get some pretty good beats out of it but yeah load in your own drums that's definitely the number one thing super interesting to make a tutorial like this but if you guys want to see more tutorials on fl studio mobile on the research tab on youtube that they came out with it actually said that there was a lot of people searching for that in my audience so i was like all right let me go buy it on the app store i think it's like 13 14 dollars uh, figure out how to make some type of beat with it and make a video showing you guys how to but if you want more tutorials or you're interested in more tutorials on this drop a comment down below and i'll definitely make some more all right one thing to definitely note on this though is watch check this out we could add in another thing on instrument remember how we locked in that key in the beginning any note we hit right here is going to be locked in on key it's only going to play the notes that match the key if you follow along right there you can mess around here and you're like get some ideas All right, so after some time of messing with it, I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I didn't pause this whole video and sit here for like 20 minutes. What I did was duplicate the piano. As you could see, this was the first one we used right here, this Yamaha. You could just copy like that, right? And then over to like a new one, you could just paste that here. I hold paste and move it over. Boom, we have another one. I sat here forever, moved some notes around and created a better melody. And now we have the full beat I can't get this to, okay, there we go. And let's hear the whole thing now. This is better. This is postable. I couldn't get on here and make complete trash. I had to make something decent. 